So MFA is really just one of the many layers of cybersecurity nowadays. It becomes more of a look at, we're, we're trying to pr protect companies' data, we're trying to protect companies' network. Um, and so the end user really is one of the most vulnerable pieces to uh, companies' assets. Um, and so one of the, call it low effort, high reward, or high form of security is multi-factor authentication. Uh, and the reason it's so secure and kind of low, low barrier to entry is it's relying on a piece of material that and a user already has, which is their cell phone, or you can use different form of code generators, but um, you can generate a, mo a mobile phone token on your phone that will basically give you your way into the device. Um, and so it's effectively a password that you carry around with you. Um, so you don't have to worry as much about a user's password getting breached because you've got another layer of protection um, as well some side benefits to that that offer kind of in tandem with that is the ability to kind of do um, single sign-on so you can leverage that same account for different applications so you don't have to have employees remember as many passwords and they can leverage their single sign-on as well as mfa and keep your company protected your company data protected without really having to get creative or add more complexity for the user to remember